So, gotta have the tackle bag and we have to have this. Um, going through the comments, I get asked all the time, what are five baits that I can't go without? Or what are five of my favorite baits? Or what are five baits that like I have to have, or just five baits in general that I would pick for smallmouth bass fishing? Well, I kind of combined all of those into the five baits that I'm gonna pick for today's video. We're gonna go over, you know, just a little bit of the baits, talk about it, and then we'll end the video. So pretty basic. Um, and we're gonna start in the order that I'm thinking. So this box, this box will come last. Um, unzip the old tackle bag. Bait number one. Bait number one is gonna be a crankbait. gonna be a Strike King 5XD in this color. I'm having a major brain fart and for the life of me I cannot remember the name of this color but this color right here or I believe this this color which is I think the Chartreuse Sexy Shad okay these two colors are the two colors in 5XD that I throw the most. So number one, Strike King 5XD. It's gonna go to 15 feet. I'm gonna fish it on 12 or 15 pound test fluorocarbon on a casting outfit, either eh, sometimes a medium moderate or a medium heavy moderate. So there is my bait number one. It is a crankbait, Strike King 5XD. Number two, should be no surprise to anyone. Megabass Vision 110 plus one. And you will see that this color right here, this is the Table Rock SP. And yes, this bait works for largemouth, smallmouth, clear water, stained water, Great Lakes, inland, pond. I've even caught them on a river. Look at the marks on the bait. Can you see the marks in the middle of that bait? That is from pike and smallmouth bass. Uh, the Vision 110 Plus one, I talk about these all the time. You can fish it on casting or spinning, but I like to fish mine with eight pound test fluorocarbon on a spinning rod. Uh, once in a while, I'll fish them 10 pound test fluorocarbon on a medium casting rod, but my preferred choice of rod and reel is a spinning outfit. So, bait number one, crankbait. Bait number two, jerkbait. Bait number three is going to be a tube. It is going to be, of course, the Strike King coffee tube in the natural goby color. Now, look at this. Okay. Now along with the natural goby, I'm also gonna use green pumpkin. And along with the green pumpkin, I'm also gonna use melon perch. So natural goby, melon perch, green pumpkin, my three colors of choice. Now, to fish that tube, a quarter ounce Strike King tube jig head. Uh, basically for me, I stick with a quarter ounce. Once in a while, I'll go up to a little heavier, maybe a three-eighths, but quarter ounce or three-eighths, is what I stick with. Now that we're on the topic of plastics, put the tubes away, and you have to have a finesse bait, especially if smallmouth bass are gonna be involved because with that finesse bait and those smallmouth bass, you kinda, you know, gotta throw a drop shot when you don't have to. But. Guggenbaits, Dragon Drop. The color is Murky Minnow. Okay. See the packaging? Yes, you do. Let's take a look.
Now last on the list, is a bait that I used to fish quite often years ago that I haven't really fished in a while. Why? I don't know, sometimes I go through phases. Sometimes I only fish certain things because I feel like it, I mean. But the last bait on the list after the crankbait, jerkbait, tube, finesse bait, it's right here. That is a swim bait. That right there is the Kytec Swing Impact Fat 4.8 inch. Yes, sometimes I use like the 3.8 inch, the 4.3 inch. Uh, I've used the whatever in the 5 inch. But the Bluegill Flash is one of my favorite colors. See what I'm saying? Give you a good look at that. Bluegill Flash Swim Bait. Of course, either on a weighted swim bait hook, once in a while weightless, or you can also Texas rig them. But before, you know, before we just, just go to the next part of the video, let's take a look at some other Kytex. Uh, you have the Sight Flash, okay? Sight Flash. You have the pro blue i think the pro i think it was the pro blue pearl or something or pro blue red i can't remember you have the rainbow shad see that orange and purple flake you have the silver flash minnow then you have the sexy shad oh, it looks it's just large mouth all over it but Sexy Shad, okay? Then you also have like, where is it? You have the 360 GTs. Those are also good swim baits. But anyway, the five baits that I picked, you have a crankbait, a jerkbait, a tube, a finesse bait, the Guggen bait for the drop shot, and the Kytec Swing Impact Fat. So do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below what are your guys' top three or top five baits or five baits you can't go without? I mean, these are the five that I picked. This doesn't mean that I don't fish spinner baits. That doesn't mean that I don't fish top water. That doesn't mean that I don't fish buzz baits. A whole bunch of other stuff. These are just the five that I picked for the video. And on that note, also, I think this is going to be my last video for a while because I'm going to be out gathering content. I've had a decent start to the year. I've caught some okay fish. But... I want to get some some good videos and I want to get a few of them not just you know one or two here or there so if you guys don't mind I'm gonna take take a step back for a little bit try to gather some content do a lot more fishing than I have been and hopefully come back at the mm, the end of April or May with some videos but if you guys want me to just continue posting as I go I could do that as well but anyway the baits the tackle that's gonna be it for me for today I hope you guys enjoyed I look forward to hearing from you in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Heck was that? Thought I saw something.